Hi friends, welcome back to Koshika. This is the part 6 of Django Razor Pay integration series. If you like my tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to the channel uh, because your likes and subscribes motivates me to do more videos. So friends, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, now let's start. So to this checkout form, we need to pass our API key. So from here, I will copy this API key then we need to pass amount that I will fetch from payment payment dot amount then we need to pass the currency that is payment dot currency next we need to pass order id from payment i will fetch order id that is id and uh, data name that is our shop uh, or website name here i will give cold coffee shop and the description about web website here I will give have a cold coffee to make your mood fresh okay then the data image that is uh, logo of our site then the data prefill name is our customer name who is paying for the coffee I will fetch from payment dot name and the date of refill email that is the customer email id here i will give default email id that is you at example.com you can customize it uh, if you want okay now let's click on this buy button okay this is the pay with razor pay button we have added here Okay, let's click on this oh great uh, this is the checkout form that the razor pay provides us and this is the default email we have provided and uh, this is the amount we have passed to the checkout form and the cold coffee shop that is our uh, website name and this is the description okay through this form we need to pass csrf token and uh, we will collect this form data at url payment dash status okay now let's create a view for this def payment dash status payment underscore status in bracket request okay then response equals to request dot post uh, the successful payment returns some data to the checkout form and we will get that from request.post and let's print it print a response okay after that a return render request comma payment status dot html now open payment dot status here i will remove this i will extend base dot html then we will override block content of base dot html okay in block and uh, for successful payment i want to show an icon for check mark so 
let's search here far check circle i will open this link okay so uh, this is the icon i want to use uh, to show successful payment okay i will copy this and here i will paste that and for this i tag uh, to use uh, we need to had uh, we need to have font awesome library in our project so i will open this link and uh, from here download the library okay uh, here i will select no thank just download font awesome 4 i will save this file uh, it is a zip file you need to extract that I will close this inside uh, the static directory I will create a CSS directory and inside this directory I will copy uh, font awesome library okay this is font awesome okay now open base.html and here I will need to copy this link tag in the head section I will copy this and inside this head section I will paste that and here we need to reference the location of font awesome main.css inside our CSS directory so inside the CSS, this is font awesome main.css. Here I will copy the path which is path from a uh, static CSS. Okay. Now here static I will paste the path which should be in single code and I will remove the CSS I will remove the static and this is path from CSS font awesome then CSS and font awesome mean dot CSS okay we have set the path successfully now let's create a url for this view in our src urls.py file so here i will import payment status then here path in single code payment dash status comma payment status name equals to payment dash status okay i will open this in new tab slash payment status okay this is the uh, check mark icon uh, i want to display and now i will align this icon at this uh, middle of this page and i will increase the size so here style equals to font font size 80 pixel i will give then i will give color green okay and uh, i will align this at middle of the page so here do 
class equals to container after here style equals to text sorry text align center now I will refresh here ok now the icon is looking good now for the successful payment I want to show a message thank you your payment uh, was successful so here I will type h2 thank you your payment was successful let's refresh here okay this is the message now I want to align this message at the center style equal to text align center okay we align the text so in the next part we will see the data returned by the checkout form and uh, one data it returns is the razor pay signature and we need to verify it before saving razor pay payment id and checking the paid field for the order so if you like my uh, video please subscribe to this channel now i will meet in the next part bye bye